Greetings New Horizon family, Carrie here. I thought we could do something a little different this summer. I have put together a couple of devotionals that I'm calling the Will of God Summer Road Trip. We're on a journey together and we're going to be exploring some of the themes that are found in this book by Leslie Weatherhead called The Will of God. It's a great book. It's one that I've studied in, in Bible study with a couple of groups. But what he does in this book is he breaks down the will of God into three parts. He calls it the intentional will of God, the circumstantial will of God, and the ultimate will of God. Um, so if you're ready, let's do this. Grab your bag, jump in the car, and let's head off on this road trip together. So recently I had to travel for work and I rented a car. My regular driving car is a 2016 Kia Soul, but this happened to be a brand new Honda CRV. And as I was driving, um, I was driving on the highway, messing with the radio, I feel shaking and I thought, oh no, um, maybe something's wrong with my car. Uh, it is a rental. And then I also thought, well, maybe I hit something in the road. It kind of felt like when you hit those, uh, those rumble strips and you get that little shake. And I looked down and I, I see the sensor it came on. It said lane assist. So I wasn't familiar with that, but uh, it was a lane assist. So we'll come back to that imagery toward the end of the session. Our scripture today comes from the book of Jeremiah. And as you know, Jeremiah was a prophet. He brought a message to the Israelites. And the Israelites weren't always following God's law, right? So they strayed away. Um, and Jeremiah predicted that there would be destruction among the you know, the, the peoples, and that ultimately they would be exiled to Babylon, right? And um, as part of that, there's this doom and gloom, a lot of destruction, uh, a lot of uprooting of peoples, right, to be, to be exiled. And today's scripture picks up in Jeremiah uh, 29, verses 11 through 14. So read with me. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare, and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I have driven you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you into exile. All right, in Leslie Weatherhead's book, the first of the three types of will of God is intentional will. Um, so in the same way that God has a plan for these Israelites, despite the fact that they're exiled, uh, he has a plan for our lives too. And in terms of this road trip that we're on, when we embark on a road trip, we don't just go at it and, you know, wing it, so to speak. We have a plan, right? So this would be the best route from point A to point B. This is God's ideal plan for our lives. That's God's intentional will. I know in my own life, there have been times where I've probably veered off of the path that God has for me. Um, and I may have made decisions that I might have regretted. Uh, I may have said things to people that were hurtful. And God sometimes, you know, brings us back. He gives us that little shake, that little lane assist. I think, and he brings us back to to his will for our lives, and, I, and I'm grateful for that. And we actually see that in today's story, too, with the Israelites, and sometimes it's more than just a little shake. Sometimes it's like, wake up, um, see what you're doing, and, you know, I think that's important for us, and that's part of God's intentional will as well. Um, in the book, Leslie Weatherhead actually makes the claim, he believes that Jesus was sent by God not to have to die necessarily, that was not God's intentional will, but rather um, that Jesus was sent so that people would be reconciled to God and to God's love, right? That they had also gone astray and that really they just needed to be shaken up a bit um, to be back on the right course. But as we know, that circumstances didn't really result in that. And so desperate times call for desperate measures. And we'll, we're going to talk a little more about that in the next few sessions. But I think what we need to take away from today is that we can feel grounded and confident that God has an intentional will for our lives. We're not led astray 
Um, we're not just out there wandering in the desert somewhere on a road trip, but no, that there's a point A and there's a point B. God has this all laid out, right? And going back to Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to see you be harmed or not for evil. And I think that's important for us today as a reminder that God always has a plan for us. Um, amen, right? Um, that, that we can go astray, but there's always going to be a point where he veers us back on course. And uh, let's pray. Greatest God, we are so thankful that despite our own doing, that you give us grace, right? That through all things, you are ever present in our lives and that you have a plan. It's not just an arbitrary uh, us out there wandering, but your plan is good. Your plan is going to prosper us. And through all the things that we experience, we can always uh, trust in you. We can place our, our trust in your care. God, you hold us in your ever-loving arms, and we are so blessed and thankful for you. Um, be with us this week, and be with those who need to be uplifted by your love. God, we pray all of this in your Son Jesus' name. Amen.